Um, so Andy, what is the four protocol? Um, I've been hearing so much about it. Everyone seems to be printing. Uh, look, I want to. I want to know everything uh, that you guys have been cooking. Are you coming out with a banger for a first question, man? Um, what is Thor Protocol? Um, it is the world's first on-chain hedge fund, and it is a fully automated, decentralized investment in DeFi protocol. Man, I can dig into so many details on it, and I'm excited to share them. Um, but it's it's a little bit it's unlike anything that's ever been released before. Um, and I'll just say that it was born out of my own selfish desires for easy trading and set it and forget it investment protocols. I've been in crypto since 2013. I've seen just about every scam and Ponzi and bullshit that's ever come to market. I've got like a complete sort of, you know, I don't do the hype bullshit. You know what I mean? That's really something that we're completely, you know, focused on as a, as a community and as a team. And what we do is really just present data and math. And in my process of derugging cyber frogs, I met my good friend and now business partner, Sile, who's a quantitative developer and has been um, a world-renowned trader for over 20 years. And he started telling me little snippets about this thing that he had called Thor. And as we, you know, derugged the cyber frogs together, I really learned a lot about what it was that Thor is and does. And I said, man, this is something that I would personally love to use. And I've got some really cool ideas about how to, to release it to the world and to the ecosystem at large. And we started building Thor protocol. So we call it TAP, Thor Automated Protocol. And uh, yeah, man, it has been doing very well for everybody who has participated in it. And uh, nothing's off the table. You know, one of the things I want to really set the standard for, like just with my own interview and stuff like that, is that. There's literally no questions off the table. We're happy to dig into fucking anything. We're very data driven and we want people to get the full picture um, and, and go from there, man. So that's a little bit. Appreciate it. Well, no, I think it's important to, to paint the full picture and also speak it in a language where there's a there's a lot of people who are not tech savvy. I'm definitely one of those people. So to just to understand it in a, in a dumbed down version uh, as well, I think it's really important because there's a lot of layers to, to, to this protocol. It's something that I've never seen before. Um, and one comment you made there, which which I really like, is you're not uh, necessarily a, a hype man. You let the the products do the speaking for you, and and I think that's something which um, you know give credit to you guys because there's a, there's a lot of people who'd be absolutely shouting and screaming about this um, even before it was launched. And you guys have have been working in the background, released this protocol, uh, and your community members have been absolutely printing. And this is a conversation I've been having with, with Zimbabwe a lot and. I think ultimately when it comes to any NFT projects, um, one of the key drivers for me is like, what value do I get back as a, as a holder? Um, and the, the projects that I'm still invested into now are the ones who are providing me value, a lot of that and monetary value. So it's actually nice to see, you know, some, uh, a project who doesn't overpromise, uh, they underpromise and over deliver uh, and are providing some insane value back uh, to the holders. So I actually read that for the protocol was was created, was it 15 years ago or, or something or 12? I can't remember what, what I saw now, Andy. Um, but it's been utilized in, yeah. in more like Forex, asset managers, uh, CME sort of things. Exactly. Yeah. So Thor in, in its like basic form started development over 15 years ago. Um, Thor consists of tried and true over a decade old trading strategy. And so when we say Thor and how we've applied it to the protocol, we are talking about an, an age old time tested strategy that we've implemented on our own for our own personal funds. And that dates back about 12 years ago. It's traded everything like you just said, across every asset and every tradable asset in every market condition. And it's the same strategy that we've used time and time again. And so, um, yeah, it is 12 years old. And it's not something that we really claim backtesting on. If you ever hear me talk about backtesting, you'll hear me say that it's largely bullshit. Um, that's something that can really favor, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, favorable trading conditions, executions, operations, and things like that. And generally speaking, people do give their backtesting a bit more of those favorable terms. And so the numbers and data presented is a bit maybe unrealistic. And so we don't do backtesting. We don't, we don't need to. We have over 12 years of actual real life data. And, um, you know, just speaking and firing off the hip, we have a cumulative total and average hit rate of about 70 to 80% on our trading signals. 
And that goes across every tradable asset and every fucking commodity that we present Thor signals on. Currently, what we've released um, via the TAP protocol is uh, over 50 crypto assets that people have for time frames for their trading signals. And then also, we just released Thor for over 10,000 stocks. And so you can use this and you can manage your own funds using our trading signals with a really high efficacy rate. Or you can use our trading protocol, which automates currently the cryptocurrency side of things. We're really excited to see a lot of the financial services and trading markets come to Solana and also just, you know, tokenizing some stocks on the blockchain and also in Forex, you know, be a pancake swap and stuff like that. This is just the tip, you know, as we like to say, it's just the tip in terms of where we're at from, you know, an industry in the trading side of things. And it's really just like the first iteration of what we can apply Thor to on chain. And I really want to highlight that. Everything that we do is on chain. I am a blockchain maxi. I am a fucking X laser eye Bitcoin maxi buying Bitcoin in gas stations back in the day. What we want to do is provide that transparency and that infallible level of data that's all expressed on the blockchain. So as more things come to the blockchain and as more trading I do, which we all I think are here, you know, in at least some agreement that it's going to be coming to, to crypto as a whole. You know, that's what we're really excited about is on-chain trade.